UN plane carrying the bodies of the fallen soldiers arrived at the UPDF's airbase in Entebbe at about 1.10 p.m. The Amsom base in Janali was hit by Al-Shabaab militants using a car loaded with explosives on Tuesday. Air Force Commander Major General Samuel Turiagenda and Brigadier Leo Chanda, who represented the CDF, were among the army officers who attended the ceremony. Shortly, the plane door opened, and groups of uniformed men carried the caskets containing the remains of their colleagues out. The national anthem came first, followed by the long reveille, which is played to honor men and women failed in the line of duty. According to the army, ten soldiers were also injured, with three still in critical condition. Major General Samuel Turiagenda paid his tribute. People carrying out cowardly uh, activities, they think they can ambush our people and get away with it. And maybe scare us, we shall hunt these guys down, up to the last one of them. Among those who were killed were a lieutenant, sergeants and two privates. Brigadier Chanda spoke of Amisom's achievements. As we have defeated them in major towns, like among others Mogadishu, Afgoe, Maraka, Jawea, uh, Burhakaba, Baldogoli, Baidoa, and Baraway. About two months ago, the Al Shabaab carried out a similar attack on the Burundian camp in Somalia, killing dozens of soldiers. I asked Brigadier Chanda what measures there are to prevent such attacks. It would have been worse, but as you can see, they lost 46 and we captured two. So um, they made a, a big effort on their part, but uh, their successes were few. Although the mission by the soldiers who are fallen already was cut short by the Al-Shabaab terrorists, the others who are still serving in Amisom are ready to carry on from where they stopped. And according to the UPDF uh, leadership, they are ready to pacify Somalia whose security landscape remains fluid. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.